hello guys welcome back to the channel so today i'll be showing you guys how to create uscis online account so in case maybe you you, you have filed um, some petition with uh, uscis uh, yes if you have an online account it makes it more easier for you to be able to track the progress of your application so today this video is all about how to create uscis account online yeah, having a like, USCS account makes things more easier. You can uh, change your address over there. You can do a whole lot of things. You can like you can track the progress of your uh, application. So without um, wasting much time, I'll just take you onto your, my computer and I'll show you guys the step by step process on how to um, sign up. It's very very simple. It's very very simple, convenient, and easy. So. Uh, Let's hop onto the computer and let's uh, start. So, go to my computer, go to Google Chrome. So, you go to Google Chrome, just type in USCIS. So, come to accounts, USCIS account to click on it. When you click on uh, create an account. So if you already have an account, you just uh, put everything in there, your email, your password. So you put in create an account. And uh, put in the uh, email that um, you want to use to create the account. Click on sign up. So it says a USCIS account confirmation email has been sent to leave to the email that you put in there. Please follow the instructions in the email to confirm your USCIS request. So they, will set, they have sent a, 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 a link that you have to follow. So you go to your you sign into your uh, your Gmail account or what whichever account your uh, email that you used. So okay, so just uh, login into my Gmail account. Okay, so my Gmail is already open. So the link, just click on the link over here. It says to continue creating your USCIS account. You must confirm your email address so you have to confirm your email address so you click on the link so when you click on the link it says um password tips so you have to put in your password the password that is more convenient for you so so the computer the, because the computer i'm using apple that's why it's uh, generating this um, horrific password for me which i won't even remember so i'll click on don't use to use the password that you will remember so you put in the password that you will remember and you confirm your password make sure you put in the exact password make sure they match and you click on submit so you see it says uh, to Step verification method. So you have to select one of them. So you see, it's a use an authentication app, retrieve codes from an um, authentication app such as Google. So said SMS, text message, receive a text message to your mobile device when signing in, and it says receive an email when signing in. So you can click on your, you can click on any of them. So you see, if you click on the the first one you say you just it will just use your email thing so if you want to use you want to get a text message you just put in the number over here so that um, when you put in the number you anytime you want to log in it to send you a code that you put it into the uh, the code that you submit if you want them to send you an email to you just put in they will send it everything if you want to sign it they will send 
the link the code to uh, your email so anywhere that uh, you will be used by for the sake of the uh, video i will just use the email because i'm using my phone to videotape it so if i use if i put in my number it will be kind of like how to cut it and do it again so i'll just use the email so you click on submit so it says security code so you go back to your um email address okay it's already opened so you go back to your email address and you see you say there is the code so you just uh copy and paste the code and you just uh put it in there so you just paste it and you just click on submit you see and click on submit so your it says your back backup code is this one so make sure you write this code down somewhere so you don't remember in case so it says uh, explode as a uh, pdf proceed so i'll just click on proceed so you just have to uh answer all these questions so you select any of them so i'll just be selecting random stuff for the sake of the video i already have an account but for the sake of the video so it says i just select any of them so it says uh, so if you read question two what is the name of your favorite childhood teacher uh, I don't have one though, but and you say, sir, what's the name of the company of your first paid job? So, the name of the company you just put in, in it. So, what is the first team you support? The first team sports you played. So, the team that you, you just put anything, anything that comes in your mind that you will remember, you know. So, it says, uh, what is the first city you visited without? your parents the first city you visited without your parents so you just uh, put in everything uh, and you click on submit so it says uh, you have successfully created your secret questions so the secret questions in case you uh, forget your password they're going to ask you that secret questions for you to answer so it says edit my profile us uh us my uscis first my e verify so if you click on uh, edit my profile you say to make you to make you edit your profile so if you have a recovery email you just put in the email so your password is there too we, uh, so you can uh, put in your phone number too and uh password reset questions you can edit it put it everything over there so when you are done and just uh, click on done editing my so just go to my uscis click on it so it says uh so the account type select an account type it says i'm the i'm the i am an applicant petitioner or requester i am a legal representative so whether you're a legal representative like a, an attorney you click on it but if you're an applicant or the petitioner just click on it by so we read an applicant petition and then click on submit so you wait for it to load so there you go so this is the page so, no thanks so if uh you want to uh file you add if you already have um you are already applying for something you just uh, click on this one add a paper file Paper, uh, paper filed case put it then you add your case number if you have if you want to file uh, online you click on it enter a representative uh, passcode verify your uh, identity so this is how the page looks like because uh, there is nothing here that you have done there is no application that you have done that's why you don't see anything but once you open it you create it and you start using it it will be a different uh, thing so if you want to uh, file online 
if you click on it it will just take you to the uscis uh, page you select the forms so these are the forms that you can file online so you select it and you start to uh you start to fill up the forms if you want to um, also um, add a case paper case you just put in your receipt number and you click on the add a case and it will add it to your um to the page so it will be more uh, nice over there so this is how the, the the page looks like you see yeah so guys uh thank you for watching this video and um this is how you create a uscis online account so when you create it if you have a paper case you put in you put in your re, uh, receipt number and um, it will give you the uh, progress of your application if you want to file online too you just um, pick up the uh, forms that you want to file online that is accepted to be filed online then you start it so everything you will see every uh, information every progress on how uh, your uh, application is going so um thank you guys for watching this video so if this video has been helpful um don't forget to subscribe it's very important thank you guys for the support and uh share 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 to your friends and i will see you guys in the next video thank you very much bye